Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tutorial just focusing on the eye makeup. I'm doing this matte cut crease with a glitter liner inspired by Nicole Jane. Now if you'd like to see how I've done it, then carry on watching. First up we have the P. Louise Eye Base in number 1. I'm just going to pat that all over the eyelid as my eye base. Then for shadows, I'm using my clientele palette with Be Perfect Cosmetics. We're going to use Sandy and a little bit of Dirty Tan. We're going to mix the two and that's going to be our transition colour. Now I'm just patting that product through, well above the crease. As you can see, it's very close to the eyebrow. And we're just going to buff that out. The next colour I'll be using for my palette is called Dirty Tan, one of my favourites. And if you have this palette, I know this is a favourite of yours as well. Now I'm just going to build up that product or that colour through the crease, make it nice and strong and really build that depth. Now when you're blending, I do recommend doing circular motions back and forth. You can see the motions that I'm doing in the video. I don't recommend doing window wiping, so try and get used to doing like more circular blending. Now the next colour I'll be using is Dirty Tan, but this time we're going to mix in a tiny bit of Shady. If you haven't mixed these two colours together, I definitely recommend trying it. It creates a really nice dark brown, but with a neutral tone to it, so it's not too orange. So once I've done the other eye, we're going to start cutting the crease. I'm going to be using my P. Louise Acid Rain Blank Canvas Paint. This is a long name. And I'm going to start stamping my cut crease. Then once I got to the end, I just mapped out a wing shape, kind of like as if I was doing a winged eyeliner. And that was my guide for cutting the crease towards the end. Then we're just going to drag that product out. To be honest, this was not the shape I was going for. I wasn't planning on making it this dragged out, but you know, life happens like that. And then we're just going to push that product on the eyelid, make sure it's all smoothed out and there's no clumps. Then we're going to use the color Asher, which is a really nice nude color. It's not too light, but not too dark. And we're just going to pat that all over the eye base. Now time for the fun part, we're going to do the glitter liner. This is always a tricky thing to do, but once you find a good position, a comfortable position, it does make it easier. So the one I'm using is from Beauty Bay. It's the collab uh, glitter liner set from um, Beauty Bay with M -M -M Mitchell. They're really nice liners and they dry really quick, which is good. And then the other one you saw was the Cowboy from Urban Decay, which is a popular one. Um, so they're both really good glitter liners. Now moving on to the lash line, I just smudged some brown coal because I'm going to be creating a smoky lash line. Now once I've done that, I went in with Dirty Tan and I'm going to place this along the top edge of that smoked out brown liner. And then I'm going to go back in with the dark brown and smudge that along the lash line. I'm pretty much trying to create like an ombre effect, like as if you had it in the crease, pretty much on the lash line. Now I'm going to step on some black eyeshadow as close to the lash line as possible, then apply some mascara. Today's lashes, I'm using Chick Flick from Tati Lashes. This style is like a collab with some clothing brand. I think it's Pretty Little Thing. So I just put those on and I'm going to go away and do my base and then come right back. Alright, so base is done. We're going back to the eyes to finish them off. I'm just putting in a nude eyeliner from Makeup Atelier. I hate doing this part. My eyes are always water. Now we're going to smoke some shadows underneath. I first started with Sandy which was the transition colour. Then with a smaller brush, I use the colour um, Too Much from the palette, just the darkest brown. And I'm going to apply that really tight to the bottom lash line. And then I'm going to use the colour Dirty Tan and really smoke it out. And it really warms up the eye as well. 
Now to finish off the eyes, we're just going to load up on some mascara. I'm using the Iconic Mascara. For lips, I'm starting off with the Morphe Lip Liner in the colour Sweet Tea. One of my all-time favourite lip liners. My top lip liners are definitely the MAC. I love the formula, I love the pencil. Um, and I do like Morphe as well, but some of the Morphe lip liners can be a bit like oily. But for some reason, Sweet Tea, the one I'm using, isn't as oily as some of the other ones I've tried. Then for lipstick, I'm using Huda Beauty. The colour I believe I'm using is Crush, maybe. I'll make sure I leave it listed down in the info bar. Now, I liked the colour when I first applied it, but once it dried, it went darker, which I didn't like. So once it dried, I just went back, outlined my lips, and then I went in with a lighter lipstick. So this is the lighter shade. It's called 1993 from Gemma Isabella Cosmetics. I use this all the time. It's definitely a favourite nude of mine now. Then to finish off the look, I just chucked on some highlighter. I almost forgot this part, but I was looking in the camera wondering why my face looked a bit flat. And this is why. So we're just going to load that up on the cheeks. And then you can do it on the nose as well. Alright, so there we have it you guys. The completed look. Here's before and after. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something new, or maybe there's a look that you want to try out for yourselves. And if you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Um, and yeah, if you like this look, please like, share and subscribe. And leave all your nice comments down in the comment section below. And also, I will leave a link to my palette in the info bar if you haven't got your hands on it yet. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.